Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you find the surface area of this solid right here. Uh, so, uh, first off, I know this is a little tricky one just based off the diagram right here. So this is a three-dimensional solid that's drawn on a two-dimensional piece of paper. So the first thing is, let's determine what kind of solid this is. There are a couple hints. Uh, so first hint is this 10 centimeters right here. It's pointing to this side right here. So let's highlight that side. There's another 10 centimeters and uh, it's right next to this side right here. And there's another 10 centimeters and it's right next to this side right here. So uh, it looks like we have three sides. Three sides make a triangle and all three sides are of equal length, 10 centimeters. Um, so, and it looks like it has faces that all meet up at one point right here. So we can determine that this solid is, and since all of them are 10, uh, this makes this right here an equilateral triangle. So this solid would be an equilateral triangular pyramid. Uh, so very similar. So let's make this two-dimensional into a three-dimensional representation. So one of these, similar to these, this right here, uh, there's our equilateral triangle, and then all the faces meet up at an apex or the high point of the pyramid. So now that we've determined what kind of shape this is, uh, let's figure out what the surface area is. So if you guys remember, the formula for the surface area of a pyramid <clears throat> is, okay, there's only one base. So surface area is how many squares fit on the surface. So uh, there's one base, so B plus uh, the base perimeter times the slant height. Okay. Uh, so that's the height of each of these faces. So the slanted height, okay, not the height going from the base to the top, but on the face. Um, and since all of the faces right here are triangles, so the formula is base area plus base perimeter times slant height divided by two. So first thing is, let's figure out what the base area is. So our base is an equilateral triangle. So let me just draw it right here. And we know that all the sides are 10. And if it's an equilateral triangle, it's also equiangular. So that means every angle is 60 degrees and this is also 60 degrees uh, i'm going to leave that 60 off right now just knowing that all three of these are 60 degrees they even drew a little line right here to give us a little hint so let me draw that line over here <clears throat> telling you to split this triangle in half so if this entire angle right here is 60 degrees and this line right here bisects it that would make this 30 degrees and this angle 90 degrees. So we have that little uh, right angle right there. So what we have here is an equilateral triangle bisected to make a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So let's just zoom in on that. Right here. So there's our 30, 60, 90 triangle. Uh, so we need to find the area of this triangle. And if you guys remember the formula for the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two and the base and the heights are always perpendicular. So they, the two lines that make 90 degree angles, so it would be this line right here and this line right here. So we have the length of this, but we need to figure out what the length of this is. So <clears throat> that's why we split this triangle in half, we bisected it. So uh, the length from here to here, just half of this is five. And since this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, if you guys remember uh, the pattern or the shortcut for that, uh, this five is the short side because it's opposite the 30 degree angle. Uh, this right here, this side is the middle side because it's opposite the middle angle, the 60 degrees. And this is the hypotenuse. Uh, but we want this side right here. 
and remembering the shortcut or the pattern it's whatever the middle side is whatever the short side is times radical three so this side would be five radical three okay so now we have everything we need to figure out the area of this entire base so the area <clears throat> of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. Our base of this triangle is 10 times its perpendicular uh, length or height is 5 radical 3. And since it's a triangle, <clears throat> it's half of a rectangle. So we'll divide by 2. Okay. And so uh, let's make some numbers smaller before making them bigger. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 times 5 would be 25 radical 3. So let's zoom back out. Okay. So <clears throat> this means this, this triangle, our base area is 25 radical 3. We can plug that into here. So our base area is 25 radical 3 plus P is base perimeter or the perimeter of the base. So that's not too difficult. It's 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. And the convenient thing about this problem is that they already give us the slant height. Then uh, it's pointed right here. It's 5.8. And because all of those are triangles, we divide by 2. Okay. And now let's just use our trusty handy calculator. All right. So we have 30 times 5.8 uh, divided by 2, which is 87. And we'll just bring this down. 25 radical 3. Uh, so 25 radical 3 plus 87. And we can't combine these. So that's our final answer. 25 radical 3 uh, plus 87. And remember, surface area is the number of squares that fit on the surface. So centimeters squared. There's your final answer. Hope this helps.